Have you ever wondered how your body fights off diseases? It's quite an intriguing question, isn't it? Your body is like a walled city, constantly under siege by harmful invaders. But don't worry, you have an army of microscopic soldiers that tirelessly defend you. This army is known as your immune system, the body's remarkable defense mechanism. Now let's delve into the two types of immunity your body employs, innate and adaptive. Think of innate immunity as your body's first line of defense. It's like a moat around a castle, always ready to fend off any invaders. This quick response system is hardwired into your body and it doesn't need prior exposure to a pathogen to spring into action. Among the heroes of this defense are white blood cells, specifically macrophages and neutrophils. Macrophages are like the voracious dragons of your immune system. They roam around your body, gobbling up anything that doesn't belong. Neutrophils, on the other hand, are the foot soldiers. They're the most abundant white blood cells and they're always ready to engage in a fierce battle against invading pathogens. But what happens when the innate immune system can't handle the invasion? That's where adaptive immunity comes in. This is your body's specialized force, trained to fight specific invaders. It's slower to respond than innate immunity, but it's more precise. The key players here are B cells and T cells. B cells are like your body's spies. They recognize the invaders and produce antibodies to mark them for destruction. T cells, however, are the assassins. Some of them directly destroy infected cells, while others help coordinate the immune response. These cells, your body's soldiers, are constantly on guard, tirelessly working to keep you safe from diseases. They learn, adapt, and remember past invaders, making your immune system a dynamic and highly efficient defense mechanism. So the next time you recover from a cold, remember to thank these microscopic soldiers in your body. But how exactly does your immune system swing into action when an invader attacks? Imagine your body as a well-fortified castle. The immune system is the vigilant guard who spots an enemy at the gates, the enemy being a foreign substance or a germ. This recognition is the first step in the immune response process. Specialized cells called antigen-presenting cells identify these invaders and promptly sound the alarm. With the alarm raised, the body's soldiers, the white blood cells, are activated. White blood cells, also known as leukocytes, are not a single type of cell, but a collection of cells that work together in perfect harmony. They are the knights in shining armor, the frontline warriors in your body's defense system. These white blood cells then embark on a two-fold mission. Some cells, aptly named killer cells, charge directly at the enemy. They engulf and destroy the invader, much like a dragon breathing fire on an enemy siege tower. Other white blood cells, the helper cells, have a different but equally crucial role. They produce chemicals known as cytokines that signal more white blood cells to join the fight. It's like a rallying cry to gather reinforcements, but the immune response doesn't stop there. The body also manufactures memory cells. These cells are the keepers of knowledge, the sages who remember the face of the enemy. If the same disease tries to invade again, these memory cells recognize it instantly and trigger a faster, stronger response. It's as if your body has its own history book, recording past invasions to ensure future victories. This intricate process, from recognizing the invader to destroying it and creating memory cells for future protection, is a testament to the body's remarkable defense mechanism. It's a beautifully choreographed dance of cells and chemicals, working in unison to protect the body from harm. In essence, your immune system is a marvel of biological engineering, tirelessly working to keep you healthy.